श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण श्री कृष्ण गुरुर्ब्रह्मा गुरुर्विष्णु गुरुर्देव महेश्वरा गुरु साक्षात परम ब्रह्म तस्म श्री गुरव नम तस्म श्री गुरव once there was a dog and his dog has decided to go from here to um where ludlow <laughs> and any planned the distance is almost uh, 100 kilometers okay see if i plan i go from here 10 kilometers running then break take night halt then next day i start go to the next station take another halt and i think in 10 days i can reach there but i have given a wrong example this cannot happen in england this can happen only in india <laughs> so the dog started from delhi wanted to go to badrinath or just wanted to reach uh, rishikesh because here dogs are not dogs at all <laughs> they are worse than cats so when the dog started he planned i will go this 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 way you may plan but what about the totality our existence is not independent of totality so the dog started from delhi first halt and he thought let me halt for the night you may think what about the local dogs all the local dogs started bouncing on him now he has two options fight out with every dog who was coming in his way second option put his antenna down and run he opted for the second op- option then he reached the second place there again the local dogs came again bounce on him there again he put his antenna down ran and that distance which he <coughs> planned to cover in 10 days he covered in 2 days Okay. we have an option in this life are we clear about the goal of our life if the goal of our life is clear then there are no obstacles in life see if the goal of our life is to be happy that is the goal of our life then to be happy the first requirement is we must not get entangled involved with anything or anybody in the whole world see first principle anybody who becomes miserable because of somebody he is the fool of the highest order see? like one man asked me this question swami ji you are talking so many years but people don't change they are the same wretched ones don't you feel bad i said why should i feel bad they are wretched they are my customers <laughs> see will a psychiatrist feel bad when he sees a mad person no he is happy come on one victim has come good good see friends it is the first principle of life let us not be miserable on any account very simple and for that what is required is never get involved entangled with anything or anybody what our dog did if he starts fighting everywhere he goes he will never reach his destination see and for that the teacher gives a very simple technique we must have a freedom to get involved in the world as well as we must have a freedom to withdraw from the world 
that freedom is called as wisdom. See, imagine your car is such a unique car, um, Ford. Do you know what is the meaning of Ford? In America, this is the meaning of the car manufactured by Ford. Fix or repair daily. <laughs> Ford. So you have got a Ford car and it is such a unique car that when you start it picks up the speed very quickly. But when we apply the brake, it gets applied after half an hour. <laughs> what will be the condition of that car? In the same manner, we get involved in this world. But we have no freedom to withdraw from the world. See? And this is explained by the teacher here from our day-to-day -day examples. Kurmongani va yatha. See? The tortoise never fights with anybody. There are six things coming out of the shell of the tortoise. Four legs, one head and one tail. And it is going in its own glorious way, comfortably, steadily. And when some problem comes, doesn't fight nor runs away. Then what it does? It sits there and withdraws all the six things inside and waits. See, how much time it takes for the tortoise to withdraw his appendages? No time. Now apply this principle. Many times we all have done this. When it was not required, we talk. When our opinion is not sought, we give. When our company is not required, we impose. Our views we impose on others under the disguise of love. See, I'll tell you my tragic beauty. This happened in India. You know, Indians and Indian mothers have got one very peculiar character. Their love is feed that man till he dies. <laughs> See? So one day in Bombay it happened that um, from morning 6 o'clock to 1 o'clock I had to take 5 places food. Here you can reject but in India we have no choice. We have choiceless existence. Swamiji we have prepared with such a great love. Please take something. So you keep on eating, eating. And one person called me on the way. I said, look here, I'll come to your house, but I will not take even a glass of water, okay? I'm full. Six times I already eat. So when I went to their house, big table and so many dishes. Swamiji, please take something. I said, I told you. Yes, you told. <laughs> <laughs> but you take. I said, look here, if I eat this, I will die. Never mind. But take. <laughs> <laughs> See? And this they call as love. See, friends, our love is nothing but imposition of our views on others. That's all. And therefore, in that love, we fail and we fall. See, friends, therefore, it is necessary for us to understand we have got two sets of organs. Organs of perception, organs of action. And there is one organ, which is two in one. And that is our wagging tongue. See? How many times we have said something which we should not have. And after biting the tongue is not going to change. The damage caused because of one word is a lifelong tragedy. See how simple it is. Therefore, friends, like the tortoise has a complete freedom. Get involved in this world, it is required. We can't go and sit in a you know, cave. We have to live in this world. 
But while living in this world, we have to keep this freedom. See, more than what we should talk, we must know what we should not talk. There is one lady somewhere and her brother is with me many times and one day she told her brother, Swamiji, I don't know, he avoids me, he doesn't talk to me. When he goes, he sees that I don't go with him in the car. Why he does like that? So he said, you are Swamiji. To me, he always tells, come. I don't know why he doesn't tell you. So again she complained and then he told me, Swamiji, this is what my sister is telling. What should I tell her? I said, you don't have to tell anything, keep quiet, but I'll tell you. She talks when it is not required. So when you go in a car, long drive, two hours, one hour, so many things we talk pertaining to that particular person. If somebody is sitting, keeps on gathering the information and after we go out, it is broadcasted freely. Because there is no control. That is why they say, the means of communication have changed. First, it is to be the pigeon which is to go with the, you know, uh, message and deliver the message. Then we started growing more and more modern. Then it came the uh, handwritten letters and a messenger will go on, a, you know, horseback and deliver. Then we still progress and then came the uh, wireless, cut, 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 then that also we discarded, then came the phones, then came the mobile phones, then came the SMS, then came the email, and blah, 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 blah. Yet nobody can beat one communication technique which outwits all the techniques put together. What is that? Tell something to a lady and it is broadcasted everywhere, freely, very fast. <laughs> and if you want to make still faster, tell her, don't tell anybody. <laughs> it is like, you know, the spacious time goes away. See, friends, it is extremely necessary that we have to have perfect control over our senses. And it has to be naturally. See, whenever we do something under pressure, it will burst out one day. And now naturally how it will come? When we know where it is not required, we must not get involved. See, friends, Kurmongani Vasarvashaha, like the tortoise withdraws from the world without any effort. In the same manner, Indriyani Indriyarthebhya Tasya Pradnya Pradishtita Such a person, he is in the midst of all the things and yet he is not victimized by the presence or the absence of the things and beings. See, what a joy it will be. But most of the time, we become victimized, temptations, and thereafter, regrets. I should not have done this thing. I should not have eaten. See? And when we say no, in India again, what they do, suppose we are all sitting for food, and they come and serve food. And you know, I don't eat sweets. So next person sitting to me, he will say, Hey man, come on, get sweets for Swamiji. They know I don't eat, therefore they don't bring. But this fellow wants. Hey, get sweets for Swamiji. And he comes, Swamiji, I say, I don't want. Naturally next. <laughs> and then he will also say, Hey, don't give me, don't give me. His hand is not covering his plate. It is covering somebody else. Hey, don't give me, don't give me, don't give me. <laughs> See? And afterwards, oh God, I have taken so much. Therefore, wisdom alone is our refuge. The wiser we grow with every experience, life becomes lighter because wisdom is light. We have to lead our life in the light of wisdom. 
one example about this. Once I was uh, somewhere taking breakfast, husband, wife, son and me. And that time when we just started, some urgent phone call came, husband went out. Swamiji, excuse me, I have to go. I said, I don't need you. As long as I get breakfast, you can disappear. You need not come. He went. Then the wife had opportunity to complain about husband. See, husband and wife, they are the legal partners for complaining about each other. So she had an opportunity to complain. Swamiji, my husband is good, you know, but only one thing. He is so angry, continuously angry. I know he's not bad. But I can't take his anger anymore. What should I do? Please tell me. Now I was eating, enjoying my breakfast. It is something like, you know, you take a glass of milk to drink and one mosquito or a fly comes and commits suicide in there. <laughs> <laughs> what will be your condition? In the same manner, you give me nice breakfast to eat when I'm eating, complain. Are you, Ram, Ram, Ram. So, the son said, Swamiji, can I reply? I said, wow, very good, you reply. I am saved. And the child said something so good. Mama, you are listening to Swamiji. The morning we go for the class, he, she, he was coming every day like this, our Charlie. Come and sit and listen, not sleep. That day the topic was that everything in this world is Brahman, Paramatma. Other than Paramatma, nothing else is. Then he told, see Swamiji told us everything is Brahman. So, Papa is also Brahman. Maybe different brand, he is an angry brand Brahman. Why do you look at him like this? See the vision. If we have really learned, then only we can grow wise. This is one of the important principles of spiritual life. Learn from every experience. Running away from the challenges of life is not spiritual life. See? Therefore, withdraw from the world with freedom, not with frustration. Then, here the teacher gives us a caution. Caution is, Vishaya vinivartante niraharasya dehina rasavarjam rasopyasya param drushtva nivartate when we do something under pressure and compulsion, see, that will be operating as long as the compulsion and discipline is imposed. See, the moment the compulsion and discipline is removed, then it comes back with vengeance. See? So, compulsion is not the way. We may begin with compulsion, but it must end up into wisdom. One, one boy asked me this question, college student. Swamiji, according to the latest you know, theories in the um, psychology or therapy, whatever it is, we should not suppress. It will lead to abnormalities. I said, very good. I have got a feeling I should punch your nose so badly it should come back. <laughs> Should I suppress or not? See? Whatever I feel like doing, doing that, are we animals? See? We have to begin with suppression. And after we have begun with suppression, then educate your own mind. Suppression plus Education is sublimation. We have to sublimate. And it will not happen just like that. We have to begin with the discipline. See? Therefore, if I feel like smoking, everybody is, I was also, but fine, is it right? If it is not right, it is not right. That's it, period. No, but everybody smokes and if I don't smoke, then you be a unique. You don't have to join the sheep flock. See, friends, once I was coming from Bombay by air to England or maybe USA, many years before. That time I was very young, luxurious hair, black, 
and very strong health and with my this uh, lungi and uh, khadav and all that so one girl came samaji i want to tell you something right? i really love you i said next this i heard on that times what next see i want to suggest you something what is that see you are so nice why do you go with this kind of clothes put on nice pant neck tie shirt shoes is your shoes you are putting this wooden dump why do you do that i said look here i want the people to look at me i am not afraid or ashamed what i am doing we have to have self confidence in what we do see friends therefore vishaya vinivartante niraharasya dehinaha when you simply suppress it will come back but if suppression is supported by education educate your mind mind can be dealt with only through education today we did one experiment yoga ha chitta vritti nirodha ha yoga is absolute suspension of thought formation so what we do we do pranayam <clears throat> as long as this goes on mind remains quiet for some time the moment the curfew of pranayam is lifted the mind again comes back with vengeance and again what don't disturb meditation in progress or regress i don't know <laughs> see this way i guarantee you you will never succeed in life educate the mind educate see then we will simply come to know whatever we have given importance and value that alone disturbs us see and once we know that we have given importance and value to something we have to devalue that nobody can do it for me i can tell my wife honey darling you know i don't like you know that quinine's dirty medicine but i am having malaria will you please take it for me she will take but your disease will not go <laughs> you have to consume your own medicine nobody can do it for you there is no proxy in life we have to live our life we have to die our death we have to practice our spirituality nobody can do it for us see friends and when you just start becoming aware of your thoughts then the second step you will come to know that whenever we have given importance to something we have become somebody when we become somebody the thoughts will start pouring out like a niagara now once you educate yourself in this manner is it necessary to ask anybody what sadhana we have to do then stop becoming somebody to stop becoming somebody devalue all that you have given value in this world see friends it is in our hands nobody can help us therefore never do anything in your life as a spiritual practice under force and stop there no begin with under force and after that educate yourself see and in this manner the more we educate ourselves you will slowly grow wise it becomes so simple and then we start discovering many things in our heart see one day somewhere i finish my lecture and one young monk came and he said swami ji uh, i want to talk to you something personally about sadhana i said start here no not before everybody i said i don't meet anybody separately 
will stand in that corner. Hey, all of you go away. Some the confidential conference is going on. Yes. So, I mean, nothing special. I just want to know the references of the books which you refer when you give examples. I say, look within. Examples are not in the books. Wisdom is never gathered from books. You have to discover in your own heart. But where from you get such lovely examples? He again asked the question. That very moment my mobile phone rang. Uh, Swamini, where are you? I said, I am just out of my lecture. Uh, is there somebody with you? I said, yes, there is one example with me. <laughs> <laughs> he said, Swamini, you call me example? I said, you wanted to know where from I gather example? You are one of them. Learn from your own life's experiences. And as we start educating our mind, Rasavarjam Rasopyasya Param Drishtvani Vartate. And what is the education? Education is, we have to be dedicated and committed to something higher in life. When you seek higher, the lower things automatically drop. For us, what is the maximum? Maximum is, I get a nice cup of tea in the morning when I get up. Disgusting. There are many more things in this world. See, friends. Therefore, Param Drishtva Anivartate, all those people who were dedicated to their goal, they have never found any difficulty on their way. Do you know what is the difficulty? Difficulty is that experience when our mind is taken away from the goal. Thereafter, whatever appears, it is called as difficulty. Earning money is difficult or simple? Difficult. Particularly now with the economic meltdown. Difficult. Therefore, I am not going to earn money. Has anybody said like this? We find out the ways and means. It is difficult, no doubt about it, but it is valuable for us. See, friends, so unless we have educated ourselves that life is presenting us much more than what we are getting from our life. See? There was one old, uh, what do you call, a rich man, in a village and he heard that there is something called as computer has come in the world. So he heard somewhere. So he told his uh, you know, servant or Munimji, he is a helping hand, hey go to the market and buy a computer. Everybody is buying, we should also have a computer. And don't buy ordinary one, buy the best one. Money is no criteria. So that, uh, you know, his person went and bought a computer worth about those days initially 300,000 rupees and installed in say What it can do? It can do so many things. Okay. Now he learned how to make a sum of digits. This much only he learned. So uh, vegetable, 5 rupees, 20 paisa. Uh, the washerman, 3 rupees, the milkman, 5 rupees, and 10 to 10. Oh, very good, good computer. And that was the only work he was taking out of that computer. He has spent 300,000 rupees. And what is the work he is taking out of it? Simple work which can be done on the fingertips. In the same manner, our life can present us much more than what we are harvesting. See, friends, out of an ordinary man, an extraordinary master is born because he has harvested the dormant potentiality in him or in her. See, friends, take this example. 
when we are pumping the water on the top of the building to fill in the tank and if that pipe is leaking we are putting sincere efforts but those leaking holes are taking away all our power and water doesn't reach to the top in the same manner all our energy is leaked out through these holes called as our sense organs and organs of action and as a result we get tired in no time we never remain inspired perspiration is the foundation of our life i am too tired but why me swami ji of all the people see there was one uh, there is one man in usa he was having you know, all spirituality in his house compulsion dictation the children two children he had son and daughter and every morning you have to do this puja do that puja sunday this class you have to chant gita compulsion and when the child was grown up became 18 major purchased a sport car and that day i was in his house he came drunk and parked the car with the foot he just opened the gate and came out with a cigarette in his hand and my friend saw him and he could not control himself gay he won when he was giving him one that young strong healthy hefty wtc you know wtc world trading center double the size of the father he held his hand dad stop i'll uproot this hand and give you in another hand okay went and i was just watching like a witnessing consciousness he said swami ji i have done so much for them of all the children why my child is doing like this See? we have to inspire the children not only dictate inspiration is the foundation of life if life is not inspired life is a burden friends see one of my friend in bombay with whom i stay he has purchased a nice big flat for me so i stay when i go to bombay in that flat one day he asked me I came from Australia only for 24 hours I was in Bombay took next flight and came to London he told he said swami ji uh, you have no ashram you have no institution you don't collect funds you don't have any chela your disciples etc you are so much running 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 what for why don't you stay i said okay i cancel I stay in your house for my whole life. No, 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 not that way, not that way. <laughs> Then I told him, remember, basic principle: before somebody has to tell us go, we should have wisdom to leave. See, friends, in the same manner, if we have to lead a life, we have to be inspired. that inspiration comes only when you get out of the matter and seek the spirit inspiration exists in the kingdom of the reality perspiration is the signature of the matter see friends param drishtva nivartate we have choice to live selfishly or live self oriented Two things. When we live selfish, our life is like selling fish, stings. <laughs> But when we are self-oriented, then self becomes the ish. Then we are dedicated for something higher. 
therefore it is necessary to begin with strict discipline on oneself and then educate and that education is giving some higher vision in life see just imagine this you happen to go and meet the mother of swami vivekananda just imagine both are not there you go and meet the mother of swami vivekananda what will you talk mama your son is so great he has inspired millions how lucky you are to have such a son when this will be heard by that mother what will be her experience fulfillment in life is it not do we have that quality of life that our parents are proud of our existence that here is my child who is revered who is a beacon light for millions that is fulfillment in life otherwise 12 to 8 is an is that life worth living See, friends, we have to have some higher goal in life. Then all these material things can never attract us. See, friends. Therefore, it is so important, and it is in our hands. See, one example I'll give you my experience. You know, in uh, India. some time i went among the aghoris you know aghoris those who have you know the tantra sadhana tantric they eat the meat of the dead bodies and they drink and you know they put on black clothes and they take the drugs and that is their spiritual practice so i went and uh, stayed with them and their whole thing starts at night they get up morning 11 o'clock 12 o'clock and whole night they are having their drinks and uh, you know party now that many of them so i also went and sat there and i was sitting quiet and they are drinking everything started they knew i don't drink so nobody offered me and they said no maharaj doesn't take don't give him so Five minutes, ten minutes, one hour, two hours, three hours, seven hours, eight hours, ten hours. I was sitting cool. And when their whole, they call it mandal. Therefore, when you tell me mandal ashram, you know, I was thinking this is going on over there yeah. <laughs> for the first time. So, in that mandal, three, four mandals, they you know they have the same glass of wine, whiskey, or anything. Then they have some mantra, and then they have got you know the um, uh, pork, the you know beef, and all kinds of meat and egg, and they go on drinking and sipping, and it goes like this, you know. That is their spiritual practice. So I just wanted to have fun, let what it is like. I heard about it. And when the whole thing was over, seven, eight hours, I was sitting and enjoying. The real enjoyment in a drinking party is for the one who doesn't drink, because all the originality comes out. <laughs> so I was enjoying that. Then eldest among them, very elderly. That time I was young. Eldest among them, he got up and he came, and then he told me, "Maharaj, get up, I got up." and then he hugged me and he kissed me all over and he said i am observing you you are absolutely undisturbed we are doing so many things how can you remain undisturbed i said i am not watching you i am watching my mind for me my mind is more valuable than your behavior where is our attention it is our choice friends param drushtva nivartate what is that which we are giving value the world 
who are we to improve the world and to comment on the world and to suggest to the world do this thing that thing first take care of your own mind friend param drushtva nivartate then alone we are walking the path of the wise then यतो हि कौंते पुरुष से विपश्चित इंद्रियाणी प्रमाथिनी हरती प्रथम मन एंड इफ यू डू नॉट एजुकेट अवर माइंड एंड ओनली अंडर द फोर्स ऑफ डिसिप्लिन डोंट ट्रस्ट युअर सेंसेस यू मे ट्रस्ट ए कोबरा यू मे नॉट बैट यू बट अवर सेंसेस आर द गेट वे थ्रू विच the whole world enters our bosom and loots the peace of mind see indriyani pramathini pramathini means what they churn our inside see the words are so powerful churning you know i don't know here you must be doing you know you put that churning thing for mixing the things in the same manner the world enters through the senses in our bosom and bosom is churned haranti prasavam manaha and then we become the victim of our own weaknesses see and such weaklings are crushed in this world this world is not for those who are weaklings upanishad says nayamatma balahine na labhya the truth is not for the dropouts and the weaklings you have to discover your inner strength this inner strength alone can really help us in life how long are we going to live on the sympathy of the world see i have seen one boy somewhere in india only a small boy gujarati boy on the sea side when i was walking with my friend when i looked at that boy i don't know why but i liked him very much must be about 6 years 7 years so i called him i hugged him and kissed him he said uh, okay uncle is okay but uh, will you like to buy this thing some thing he was selling there buy this thing i said no i just gave him 10 rupees i said take it i don't want free i am not a beggar see self respect he who doesn't have a self respect cannot grow spiritually let us not lead our life on the mercy of the world see discover your inner strength another example i'll tell you one boy came to new zealand i was staying with his sister because she sponsored him he got the pr permanent residency and uh, after he came there he was hunting for a job one day second day third day seven days he told his sister if i don't get job within one week i'll go without food but i will not take food in your house i don't want anything from you and that boy tried everything no job finally he took a job of sweeping the roads collecting the garbage educated boy from college he said no i don't want anything free in this world from that kind of this called technical asmita self esteem see then alone something great happens in life life is not for the beggars or the dropouts therefore to discover this inner strength and inner self esteem what is required is we have perfect control over our life and control over life begins when our senses are under our control see comforts are number one enemy in life we have to work hard see and in this manner every wise man has gone through all this discipline what we see is the final product but what they have gone through they only know see 
therefore wisdom does not come just like that we have to educate our mind therefore if the mind is our under our control the mind is our best friend if the same mind is controlling us the mind is our worst enemy sixth chapter of bhagwan says बंधुर आत्मात्मनस्तस् येन आत्मा एव आत्मना जिता हि हु हैज परफेक्ट कंट्रोल ओवर माइंड एंड सेंसेस हि अलोन इज अ डिग्निफाइड पर्सन कीपिंग द माइंड एज हिज फ्रेंड बट ही फॉर माइंड इज अ वीकलिंग कैरिड अवे बाय द टेम्पटेशन लेजीनेस निगेटिविटी नो बडी कैन हेल्प दिस इज हाउ out of an ordinary person an extraordinary person is born when we invoke our inner strength in ahmedabad india once they invited me a management institution for conducting a workshop for ladies three days workshop and the topic they have given uh, uh, what is that women empowerment that was the topic and about 150 200 ladies came and i was the only non lady there <laughs> and i had to talk before them i said look here you may give me any topic i will talk whatever i had to talk <laughs> then i told please remember one thing power always corrupts a person don't talk about women empowerment talk woman as a inner strength what will you do with the power every powerful man gets corrupted in the long run what is required in the life is inner strength so we will talk for next 3 days not woman empowerment but strengthening of the woman that you are see rather than asking for something from the world or the society equality etc discover your inner strength therefore friends this inner strength is discovered when our senses our mind is under our control and this is what yoga talks see you will see most of the so called yoga are uh, teaching throughout the world they never talk about self control they never talk about sacrifice they never talk about accepting the things as god's grace their yoga is only twisting the body and i can stand on one leg mm-hmm. see that is not yoga those are the cartoons of yoga see friends we have to have first perfect relationship with the world the world is not disturbed because of us and we don't get disturbed because of the world second thing we have perfect self control we are not a problem to ourselves third thing stability in life fourth thing all activities are controlled not a wild lifestyle fifth thing perfect control over our senses so the world enters only with our visa not anything entering inside no and then we are able to control the mind with reference to time space and object and when these three things simultaneously happen that is called as perfect control over mind and such a perfect control over mind is the wise man according to this bhagavad gita second chapter that we are stay, studying see friends therefore wisdom does not happen by accident now after having said this thing the question comes what is the foundation of this wise man kimasit how he is able to be so strong although living in the midst of all temptations and yet nothing can ever corrupt him what is the foundation so here the teacher says 
तानि सर्वाणि संयम्य युक्त आसीत मत्पर वशे ही यस्ेन्द्रियाणी तस्य प्रज्ञा प्रतिष्ठिता ही हु हैज परफेक्ट कंट्रोल ओवर हिज सेंसेस एंड ही इज डेडिकेटेड फॉर समथिंग हायर टू थिंग्स ओनली विड्रॉवल इज नॉट इनफ there was a social worker came to india from some other country and he saw one poor man eating dried burnt bread so the social worker came hey man what are you eating bread don't eat it it has no nutritional value throw it away so he threw it away now what do i eat i don't know we have to give clear option withdraw the senses then that energy which was flowing outside now it is conserved <coughs> what will you do with that conserved energy it is something like we build a dam but the channels for distribution of the water they are not yet planned what will happen the dam will burst mm. the before the dam is built all the distribution channels are already constructed is it not in the same manner tani sarvani sayamya having controlled your senses and mind etc so you have got all the energy available at your disposal then what is to be done that no apply this energy for something higher called as study of scriptures like bhagavad gita etc for studying the scripture we require highest quality of energy like the lowest is diesel or lowest than the kerosene then the diesel then the petrol the aviation petrol is the most sophisticated one is it not in the same manner to do the physical work you don't require intelligent energy then to run around <laughs> see it doesn't require much thing but when you sit quiet and study try to understand contemplate you require a highest quality of energy see you try this thing or walk for 5 hours and see how much you are tired give a meaningful talk for 1 hour and see how much you are tired and sit for 15 minutes for meditation and see how much you are tired the quality of energy and the quantity energy consumption becomes higher and higher as we go subtler and subtler in our life see therefore all the judges the world over they don't have seven days a week they work hardly two days a week three days a week why because their work is intellectual so to apply our intellectual faculty we have to first conserve our energy so what is the foundation on which his wisdom is steady his foundation is his conserved energy is intelligently applied for observing what is happening inside see yukta asit mat paraha then we come to discover what are the shortcomings how the mind is functioning what is the meaning of a statement love everybody what is the meaning of the statement remain in the present how to remain in the present all these things are not given in books then we have to discover ourselves by reading books nobody has grown wise they are just it is like you know by reading the map you don't reach a destination you have to drive also in the same manner books are merely the road maps but we have to live our life in the light of that wisdom now this is the foundation therefore vashe hi yasendriyani he who has a perfect control over his senses he alone has a steady wisdom not otherwise now 
here the teacher gives us a beautiful ladder of fall. When we know the ladder of fall, we can also climb the same ladder rather than falling. There are eight steps through which we fall. Dhyayato vishayan pumsaha sangaste shupajayate sanga sanjayate kamaha kamat krodho vijayate krodhat bhavati sammohaha sammoha smriti vibhramaha smriti bhramshat buddhinashaha buddhinashat pranashyati These are the eight steps through which we destroy ourselves. First, Dhyayato vishayan pumsaha sangaste shupajayate we start thinking about something. The more we think about a thing, we get more and more attracted towards that thing. First fall. See? Then, Sangha Sanjayate Kamaha. Then that first fall matures further in the form of a desire. I must have it. Third fall. And when the desire is born in the heart, there are two options. Either the desire is fulfilled or not fulfilled. When the desire is fulfilled, then greed comes up. And when the desire is not fulfilled, anger comes up. See? Fulfilled desire leads to greed and unfulfilled desire leads to anger, crowd. Both of them upset our balance. Then, Krodhan Bhavati Sammohaha. When the balance is upset, we are deluded. Sammoha Smriti Vibramaha. And then we forget all the sense of proportion. What we should do, what we should not do, where is the path, what is the goal of everything is forgotten. Then Smriti Brahmshat Buddhi Nashaha or discrimination is completely corrupted like our laptop by the virus. See? And Buddhi Nashaan, when discrimination is disturbed, Pranashyati, life is destroyed. See friends, how we started? We started from Dhyayato Vishayan Pumsaha. We have fulfilled our desires about so many things in life. But have we ever discovered fulfillment in life? Look within. See? We simply keep on fulfilling one desire, second, third, fourth. But has it given us fulfillment? And if we do not learn from our own experiences, who can teach us? See friends, we all had desire during our childhood for toys or games etc. You must have done, I don't know, here in India this happens. The child wants the latest you know, electronic gadget to play. And both mother and father are earning a lot. And only one child per family. So all the money is only poured on him. So he wants one new gadget. Okay, let's go, gets the gadget. Husband and wife are sitting in the front seat. The child is sitting behind. And till he comes home, constantly playing. By the time he comes home, he is tired of that game. Then he wants another game. Then he wants another game. And yet, we don't learn that one desire we have fulfilled, it has not given us fulfillment. This wisdom can come only when we are aware of our life. Are we leading a mechanical life? See? Or we are living an intelligent life? See how simple it is. <coughs> when child, I was so amazed. As much I learned from the children from nobody. He was sitting with me for taking food and I had, you know, these uh, lime pickles. So I was eating, I said, hey, do you like pickles? Yes. Take. No, mommy says no. I said, now you are sitting with me, now she will not bother you. 
थैंक यू स्वामी जी एंड ही टूक दैट पिकल एंड ही पुट इट ऑन इज टंग एंड ही स्टॉप टेकिंग फूड सिंपली सिटिंग लाइक दिस ऐसे है ईट फर्दर फॉर नेक्स्ट टू आवर्स थ्री आवर्स यू वॉज नाइदर टॉकिंग नॉर ईटिंग सिंपली लाइक दिस देन आफ्टर टू थ्री आवर्स आई सी वॉट हैपन टू यू ही से स्वामी जी आई थॉट यू आर इंटेलिजेंट बट यू आर नॉट वॉट हैपन वेर डू यू टेस्ट आई सेट इन द टंग देन यू आर आस्किंग मी टू सैलो इट हाउ विल आई टेस्ट इट देन वॉट डिड यू डू आई केप दैट पीकल ऑन माय टंग एंड दैट्स ऑल हाउ ट्रू इट इज See friends, we imagine that if I like it, eat more, eat more. But the more you eat, you know, you, you observe this simple principle. Our tongue makes us eat so many things. Tongue never becomes fat. <laughs> <laughs> Have you observed that tongue has become fat? Ah, uh, we only become fat, and we are a slave to that tongue. See, once we start observing. these things in life then we start growing wise therefore what has to be done must be right and not what we like our liking and disliking has to be erased that is spiritual practice and when we go beyond the likes and dislikes mind is ever available to us then wisdom dawns in life and the net result of the wisdom is we are unable uh, we are unable to be influenced by anything in this world world continues to be the same but we are now changed those who are ready to change themselves they are the seekers those who are trying to change the world they are the sweepers <laughs> those who are neither trying to change themselves nor the world they are the suckers <laughs> see friends therefore raga dvesha yukta istu vishayan indresh charan atma vashyer videya atma prasadam adigachati the real fulfillment prasadam fulfillment in life is two things are told here first of all रागद्वेश वियुक्त ही विषयानिंद्रियरण वेन वी आर फंक्शनिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड अंडर हूज इन्फ्लुएंस वी आर फंक्शनिंग आर वी फंक्शनिंग अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ विजडम और वी आर फंक्शनिंग अंडर द इन्फ्लुएंस ऑफ आर ओन विम्स एंड फैंसी थिंक इफ वी आर लीडिंग आवर लाइफ इन द लाइट ऑफ विजडम the life will have a different picture altogether but if we are leading our life under own whims and fancy i don't like this i like this thing then we are not the spiritual seekers spirituality is cleaning our mind of all this debris of likes and dislikes and with this way we function senses automatically come under our control and atma vashyahi vidheya atma vidheya atma he is now self discipline see many years before when i was pretty young i was in somebody's house and they had a daughter girl very sweet girl she said swami ji i have a gift for you it's very good thank you give me no close your eyes so i close my eyes so spread your palm i spread my palm she kept something now see what it is i saw it was a you know small plastic uh, clock you know traveler's clock kind of thing made out of plastic she said oh i said very good tell me why did i give you i said because you love me no 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 not that way tell me why i gave you i said i don't know No, you are a swami. You have to get up early in the morning. Therefore, this will act as an alarm clock, and then you will get up in the morning. I took that three wetter. I said, catch it. I said, I don't wake up in the morning because of your plastic piece. 
a person who cannot leave the bed of his own choice he is unfit for anything in life two things of a healthy life you have good hunger and you have good sleep not excessive hunger and excessive sleep <laughs> see when we go to sleep and when we come out of the sleep that must be our complete freedom otherwise that it go i actually you know i wanted to get up but you know such people are good for nothing can't we have that confidence see and that confidence doesn't come because we are a weakling we don't have self confidence therefore here the teacher tells vidhyatma we have to lead a self disciplined life see and once this happens then prasadam adhigachati he attains fulfillment in life there are no regrets leading a life of self discipline committed to the cause you can never get tired and bored in this world for us life becomes a burden see i wish i could die such people live very long see neither they are living nor they are dying half in between prasadam adigachati now what is the meaning of prasada prasade sarva dukhanam ha nirasyo pajayate prasanna chetaso yashu buddhi parjava tishtate prasad means what you all must have gone to some temple sometime or the other we go to the temple and they give us prasad now see exactly what happens when we receive prasad this is one most important topic please understand clearly when we go to a temple and we get prasad what happens inside that will let us find out first when we get prasad we feel blessed number 2 we don't compare how much prasad i got and how much other people got 3 we don't want to improve upon the prasad suppose you are given let us take you know that halwa kind of thing and then you tell the pandit ji pandit ji do you have pickles ha <laughs> <laughs> ha we don't improve upon the prasad fourth thing we don't disrespect the prasad and fifth thing we feel fulfilled in in, in eating the prasad we don't throw it away this is called as prasad buddhi apply this principle to all experiences of life whatever happens in our life is divine grace see what a change it will make then we don't compare our life with anybody third thing we don't want to improve upon god's creation we friends and we feel blessed we are in his care the whole attitude of life will change then such a person prasare sarva dukhanam hani upajayate hani means all the miseries are destroyed because you are at peace with yourself there was a person sitting in a uh, like you know this big um, reservoir a big lake and he used to go there and fish collect two fish per day sell one fish one for himself and leading happy cheerful life one uh, multinational american happened to visit what are you doing how much fish you per, uh, um, take every day two only two such a big you should you can do much more apply for the loans get you know the boats employ the big people they will also get a job and you will have a big catch then you can export it then then you can buy another boat and you will have a fleet of boats and then 
and then you will have so much of money people will work for you don't have to work then you can come to a place like this and relax what i am doing now <laughs> we create we dig our own grave contentment is the highest wealth in life hey there is a western approach to life spend more than you can produce this really today's world's economic crisis and the complete destruction of the culture is happening is only because of this credit card approach to life <coughs> first earn and then spend what is the credit card first spend dekha jayega then we'll see whether we can earn and they want a credit history <laughs> imagine <laughs> the more you have taken the credit and you are more smart you are see friends you know people used to say cut your coat according to your cloth is it not here borrow the cloth and cut somebody's throat not your coat and the so called economic you know that bailing out of the big business you are and my money is going and those big is they are still enjoying see friend this is not the right way of lifestyle therefore first produce wealth so prasade sarva dukha nam hani rasya upajayate all miseries are created by us nobody is responsible for our miseries and one of the most important thing to lead a peaceful life is economic independence not slavery see hani rasya upaja prasanna cheta so as a result one is ever cheerful and happy see when a uh, couple came from usa and we were going in uh, banaras and constantly asking questions so many why this why this says look here if you are asking question i am not reply now we are going to the temple and we will have darshan then we will talk and i purposely took them through the small lanes of banaras for 3 4 km you don't see anything small maybe 3 ft wide gully there is open gutter there are bulls going motorcycles going auto rickshaws going children playing cricket there are shops everybody in banaras it span and spits anywhere <laughs> and through that that you know uh, nri couple nri you know not required indian so nri so that couple was following swami ji swami ji i said shut up i am not going to listen to you <laughs> and when we finish our darshan and all that swami ji why this place is so dirty i said you want talking bring out all your dirt then i'll talk to you. then i asked him did you see the people he said that made me more miserable everybody is so happy and cheerful in such a dirty thing see i said doesn't matter where you are what matters is how you are in your usa you have got beautiful cars but nobody to sit next to you you have got huge royal beds but no sleep You have got so much of food, but there is no hunger. You require appetizer. You have got huge bungalows. Other than the dogs, there is no companion for you. Do you call it as a prosperous life, friends? Discover inner peace, and inner peace is possible only when we are seeking something higher. प्रसारे सर्व दुखा नाम हानि रस्य उपजाय प्रसन्न चेतसो एवर चेयरफुल एवर चेयरफुल डजन मीन फॉर नो रीजन है प्रसन्न चेतस मीन्स चेयरफुल मीन्स ही आर शी हैज नो कंप्लेन अबाउट एनीथिंग इन दिस वर्ल्ड कंप्लेन फ्री लाइफ स्टाइल प्रसन्न चेत सो याशु 
such a person who is cheerful and no complaints, he alone can think of God. See? Imagine you have a root canal and use it for meditation. What will your meditation? What is this different mudra? <laughs> One mudra, I am having a terrible tooth pain. One tooth pain cannot give you peace of mind for five seconds. And our mind is having ulcers of frustration, depression, dejection, loneliness. And then we want to sit for meditation. See, friends. Therefore, I have been always emphasizing this. All the spiritual practice begins only with remain cheerful and happy. And one of the highest spiritual practice. It doesn't matter whether you can do Shirsasana or no sun. Doesn't matter. What is important? Are you cheerful or not? See, this is the only difference between human being and animals. Leaving the Disneyland animal cartoons, have you seen any animal ever smiling? Animals cannot smile. Human beings alone can smile. And those who never smile in life, God will correct his mistake. <laughs> and the next life they will be born as buffaloes. <laughs> Therefore, prasanna cheta so yashu buddhi pariyavadishtate. Spiritual life begins when you are cheerful. God doesn't like boredom. He doesn't like miserable fellows. He likes only cheerful and happy people. He told me. <laughs> Om Purnamada Purnamidam Purnahat Purnamudachate Purnasya Purnamadaya Purnameva Vashishate Om Shanti 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 Hare Om Sri Guru Yonamaha Hare Om